everybody, welcome back. Our next guest is no stranger to our kitchen and he's here today with chilaquiles, slathered in tomatillo salsa. You're gonna love it, everybody. Please welcome back the executive chef of the Peninsula of Beverly Hills, the amazing, we love him, David Codney. That's an What's up, Dave? Thank you so much. It's the truth, I'm, man. I'm humbled now. You listen, all you gotta do, we invite David here and he just kind of takes it and goes with this. But this is especially, I mean, I think this is really user friendly because I'd hear this and I'd be like, I can't make this, but you're gonna show me how to do it. Think nachos, uh -huh. breakfast, uh -huh. Mexican food, how can it go wrong? I'm with you, so okay. far I'm so, so with you. We're gonna start with the tomatillo uh, salsa. Tomatillos, right? Have you ever used tomatillos? I have not in my existence. Really? Well, I have it, no, but my yeah. wife does all the time. So when you go to the market, there's these cool tomatoes, right? Yeah. With the husk on them, and they're called tomatillos, right? So they have this husk, it's very easy. The easiest way to do this is actually rinse them in water underneath a faucet, right? Because they kind of get sticky. So okay. if you see these, you peel these back, right? There Super simple, rip them, and you'll feel this kind of sticky little texture to it. That's totally fine. You're gonna, you're That's gonna normal. use that, right? Okay. Then you have onions, jalapenos, garlic, um, anything else you want to add to this is fine. Take a little olive oil, right? We're just gonna kind of toss this around and all you these things. You don't guys. have to chop all of that up? No, you're gonna do it whole, because we want a chunk of your salsa. You want a chunk of your salsa, great. Because you're gonna do the blending good. a little bit later we're once you've roasted these guys. Blend a little later, right? A little salt, okay. a little salt action, a nice. little pepper action. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna roast these. This is awesome the night before. Like say you're having a cookout and you got a grill and you're like, what would I want for the next morning breakfast? I like the way you roast think. Roast them off because you already have the grill going on. So okay, beautiful. We're put this in an oven, you can also use a broiler. Okay, you're gonna wait till it gets golden brown. The thing that you're gonna watch though is the garlic. Because okay. the garlic's gonna burn quicker. Why? Because it's got lots of sugar in it. Because it's got a ton of sugar, I right? I knew that my whole life I've known that. Truthfully, I found out about 45 seconds ago from this man right here. So we're gonna put these in the oven and you want these charred, right? So if they're kind of blonde, it's not charred yet, right? So that charredness is gonna get that depth of flavor, that char roasted side to it, like a good charred salsa. Yeah, right? yeah exactly yeah. right. You're looking at me like I don't I, I don't well, believe no, you. I'm like, like I totally with you. believe I'm you. With you're standing right? right in front of me. Like, I, I definitely trust you. Let's see I what know, the different char. So, how is that for a level of char? This is good for a level of char. So you have the onions, you got the tomatillos, you got the jalapenos, you're ready yep. to go. If you want them less, <laughs> it's, it's technical. Yeah. If you want them less spicy, scoop the seeds out. If not, not a big deal. You add everything in here, and then we add it to our trusty, dusty blender. Right? Okay, good. So far, how am I doing on my side? You're doing amazing, actually. Thanks I don't lot, know how man. you've done this so quickly. I got here me. a little bit earlier, and I got mine all blended up. That's how I roll. I, I you know, stay prepared. The now, cool thing about chili quiles, though, right, and my, one of my favorite parts, this is a breakfast dish. So there's another dish similar called migas, right? Yes. So migas, chili quiles, kind of interchangeable. Yep. Up here, down there, it's a little bit different, but I like to fry these off and I use a little bit of a, like a sunny side up egg on top. Beautiful. Sometimes you use scrambled eggs, doesn't matter, but we'll get this guy going on the side. So. When do you breathe? Like I'm just listening to you talk right now. Like I'm trying to figure don't. out where the air gets in. You gotta keep up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just up. saying, like it's an incredible amount of, uh, I don't know. Speed. Well, you're a fitness guy, you know what I mean? No, so no, I just, I'm impressed. You, know, you I just should have better lung techniques. capacity. Than okay, I so we get that all into the blender right there. Throw everything in the blender. And you want to leave it chunky, right? You, you want to blend it up, chunky. but mine's. Is this a little bit too well done, you think, too? No, uh, I think you're golden. Yeah, that's I what think you're golden. About. Do you like it that way? Do you like it? I, I like it like this. Okay, so if you like it like this, then you're winning, right? Well, I wanted to get the like, professional chef's opinion on it. Yeah, but it's all about the food you like. It's like What'd the, you put in there? Right this there. is lime juice. Lime juice, A okay. little bit of salt, right? Uh -huh. Looks like a lot of salt, but it's not, right? A little bit of pepper. Beautiful. Cumin coriander. Yes. You can always add this at the end, too, when you're roasting everything off. Okay. And then beautiful cilantro, right? This okay. keeps it nice and green. Yes. I add about half now. I love cilantro. We'll blend it slow. I really do. If you wanted to add an avocado to this and make it nice and pulpy and good, this would be the time to add it. Okay. Right? Very good. And just gonna kind of put it on low. We're gonna there add some go. oil. Is nice, some, uh, nice extra little oil, oil, little oil. Little there. oil, little Very oil. Very good. It's Looks like together. a lot of oil, but you're fine, right? Yeah. I mean, Listen, man, I, uh, I, I know that you are, a lot of people having a tough time out there these days, but you're really finding ways to keep celebration in everyday life at the restaurant at the Peninsula of Beverly Hills over there. Tell everybody what you're doing. So do at the, uh, the Petite Belvedere, we reconcepted the Belvedere this year, uh, and we made it into like a French brasserie. Uh, really, really cool concept, kind of like to celebrate everything. Nobody's traveling right now, right? Right. So let's go down the street and have a great meal and have it French inspired. So some of my favorite things are French bistros. Some of it's with uh, the travel that we've done. And what we're doing is actually every night at eight o'clock, we're passing out champagne for everybody. Everyone's toasting together. Uh, La Petite Belvedere, it's awesome. I think that's a genius idea. It's so tough to celebrate birthdays and all that. So you're doing it every night. Eight every night, eight o'clock. You know, okay. you can uh, wedding anniversaries, birthdays, or just kind of saying, hey, we got out of the house for the first time, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. So this this is, this is done. Okay. Right? You got chunky salsa. If now, you want just, more, you're fine. Right? Okay, very nice, good. Right? Yours is a little chunkier, mine's a little smoother. That's fine. just fine. You're smoother. Oh, I, know. I was just waiting for <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a tee up. Good. Go. Now, I Add was it right wondering. On top. 
So this is nice to do while this is still a little warm, yeah, right? Right when it comes out of the oven. Right when it comes out of the oven, right? Okay, right when it right. comes out. Do a little flippity flap, smickety schmack. Nice. Right? What happens if the chips get saucy or so soggy, saucy? Well, you want them a little soggy. Yeah, exactly. Don't you? It's breakfast. Exactly. Now, right. what you don't want is to be smashing them all up like I just did. No, you I think you got to be a little bit more delicate. Got to be gentle, like a baby. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like a baby. Can't just throw it around. Not you know? like I just did. Very good. Okay, then we're gonna. So throw now, it on top. You ready? Yeah. Just no. put it in your plate. Yeah, very good. I'm with you. Now right. I'm with you. Now you're with me? You feeling it? Oh my God, it smells so good. Look, it I'm smells so good. Now we got to build this up. We've got some great toppings here, uh, starting with? Starting with anything you want. So I like, I like radishes. Starting with anything you want. I like pico de gallo. Yes. I like queso fresco, right? I yeah. like to take some of the extra cilantro that we have over sure. here. Sure. We're going to add that on top, right? Beautiful. And then you could be like, wow, that looks really dry. I want to add some more on top of it. Yeah. And you're going to be like, yeah, because I'm cooking for myself here. A little right? more cilantro. A little more cilantro, a little more salsa. I love you're it. just going to make this thing beautiful, right? Boom. Take an avocado. How's your egg doing over there? Uh, my egg is almost ready. What kind of cheese is this? Uh, queso fresco. Of course it is. Like, uh, think of it like, uh, I don't know, like a drier version of cottage cheese. Like yeah. a drier ricotta, Mexican I mean, if ricotta. you used any other kind of cheese, it just wouldn't work. No, it wouldn't work. Well, you could use whatever you Some want. Some lime juice. Some lime juice. Look at this. Look what I'm Pico building. Pico de gallo. Here we go. I like to go to places say Pico de Gallo. And <laughs> do you though? Yeah. I'm not sure you do. Are you adding the egg on top? I'm no, I'm sure. adding the egg right on top, man. You're a stud. What are you doing with your egg? I'm uh, I'm still cooking it. Up. Oh, there we go. Boom. Easy. Come on, everybody. Easy peasy. Can right? you see this? Can you see what I've just created here? You want my favorite thing about this is you really can't make a mistake. I mean, I guess you can, but it's tough to. It looks so good. It's got lots of oh that tomatillo sauce. Mmm. You're a genius. You're a genius. <laughs> You're smooth. And this is it. It's great though, right? Breakfast of champions. I use that on everybody. I can't believe you just used it. got me with that. You're a genius. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much, everybody. I'm going to try and say this while I'm still chewing. Don't forget to grab this brilliant brunch recipe at hallmarkchannel.com. Man, oh man. You're going to love it.